Hi, my friends. Good morning. It's so good to see all of you. I am excited to share another main story with you today. And in fact, this is uh, a book about one of my most favorite places in Maine. It's a place that we go on vacation every single year since the very first year I met Mr. Fox. I have gone here. Uh, maybe some of you have gone there too. It has beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hikes. And um, it's the first place that the sun rises in the United States. I've watched the sunrise there a lot of times. Um, can anybody guess where it is? A lot of people travel there in the summer. A lot of cruise ships pull into it. So that's a hint. There must be water nearby. Well, I'm going to share my screen with you so that we can read about it. Uh, it is, let's see. Did you guess Acadia National Park? Well, if you did, that's the place. Um, oh, hold on, my friends. I got to fix this so we can see you or so you can see the book better. Mrs. Fox is still learning. Uh-oh. I lost you. Okay, I think I fixed it. So. Put that there. And here we go, I'm gonna share my screen. Did you guess Acadia National Park? Well, if you did, you are right. It is one of my most favorite places in the whole wide world. Chapter one, a coastal treasure. Does exploring tide pools on the coast sound fun? Would you like to hike a mountain to watch the sunrise over the Atlantic Ocean? Cadillac Mountain is just the place. It's the highest point in Acadia National Park. This park is on Maine's coast. It is made up of islands and a peninsula. This area was made a national park in 1919. These are run by the US government. The land is protected. So are the plants and animals that live there. What do you think? People donated the land for this national park. Why? Any guesses? They wanted to keep it safe from development. Why do you think people wanted to protect this area? Anybody have a guess? Chapter two, many sites and ecosystems. Spot lighthouses during your visit. Bass Harbor headlight flashes them through the night sky. I've been there, I've gone and I've looked all around him. You can't go inside, but I've been there to see it. I have pictures of us standing right over here. Stone bridges cross streams, rivers, and roads. Old carriage roads wind through the park. Walk, bike, or ride horses on them. You can even ride a horse-drawn carriage. I've ridden my bike and I've walked, but I've never ridden a horse or been in a horse-drawn carriage on them. The park has many ecosystems, animals like moose, beavers, snakes, and turtles live in them. There are forests and lakes. There are many wetlands. Take a look. Look at the intertidal zone below. At low tide, the water level is low in this zone. You can see tide poles and the creatures like sea stars and crabs that live in them. And I think where this picture is taken is on a trail called the Bowl that I have hiked many times. And Brady and Brooks have swam right in this water. They've jumped off these rocks. I'm looking at the mountains in the background and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's one of our favorite hikes because you can cool off in the water. 
This here is called Thunder Hole. And we've stood on the on these on this little platform here and gotten wet. It's a little spot that the waves crash in. Mountains, beaches, and rocky shorelines are all landforms to see here. Listen to the sounds of Thunder Hole. Waves crash against the rocky inlet. Boom! It sounds like thunder. Did you know glaciers formed across this area more than nine? thousand years ago. They moved an exposed rock. They created the park's many lakes and valleys. Chapter three, explore the park. Take to the trails. Some, some wind down the coast. Others go through the forests. More go up the mountains. Trails run along the park's many lakes. Jordan Pond is actually a lake. It is 150 feet deep. And this is Jordan Pond. And you know what? Mrs. Fox has climbed all around here on a couple different trails. The climate here changes with every season. Summers are hot, winters are cold and snowy. Some trails are open all year. In the winter, you can cross country ski, snowmobile, or ice fish. And that's just like us, because this is in Maine just like us, it's just more north of us. Drive along Park Loop Road. It winds through Mount Desert Island. You can camp here, pitch a tent, spend the night on this busy island. You can camp on Isla Hawk too. You must take a ferry to get to this island. Enjoy stargazing. Clear skies reveal the stars. You could see the Milky Way. And Mrs. Fox has camped at the Bar Harbor Campground a couple times. Not on inside Acadia, Mount, um, Acadia National Park, but outside of it. Very fun. If you've never been, whoa. Do you like bird watching? Ship Harbor Trail is a great place to spot birds. More than 300 species are in this park. You could see sandpipers, loons, warblers, and even peregrine falcons. These birds nest in the Jordan Cliffs. So this is the peregrine falcon. And the, the Jordan Cliffs is a trail also. You can go and sometimes, and it's a little bit, a little bit scary for Mrs. Fox, but Brady and Brooks love it. And um, sometimes it has to be closed because the peregrine falcons are um, there and we can't disturb them. So, how do you think Mrs. Fox feels when it's closed? What do you think? Peregrine falcons were once endangered. The park helped bring them back. Some park trails close when chicks are hashing, hatching. How do you think this helps? Ooh, I kind of gave a clue there, huh? Head to the shore. Sand Beach is a great place to swim. You can see the beehive here. It is a rocky peak. People hike and rock climb. Acadia National Park is a beautiful place. What would you like to see first? And Mrs. Fox has hiked the beehive two times. It is not my favorite. <laughs> it's very steep, but guess who like it the most? Did you guess Brady and Brooks? Mm -hmm. They love it. So now they're old enough to do it on their own. And this is a page that I'm going to let you, if you want to look at it, um, come and see. It has a lot of the big words that we used in the book. It has the glossary, which is in a nonfiction book because this is nonfiction, so that you can go, if you wanna see this, it's on Epic in my main collection for you to check out. I hope you liked learning about Acadia National Park. It is definitely, definitely worth a visit. If you haven't been there before, there is camping, there are so many hikes, there are places to go um, rent a kayak and go on a big, big lake. It's beautiful. Um, I hope you liked learning about one of my favorite places in Maine. Have a fabulous day today. I know Miss Louie has a book to share with you today as well. And I hope I hope, <laughs> I hope you like it. Have a wonderful day, my friends. Goodbye.